Good afternoon. Leaders from neighborhoods around Albuquerque are banding together to hold the city accountable. Their plan is to take citywide concerns like APD shootings and other problems with the department straight to city leaders to get answers and avoid the violent protests that have crippled progress. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the Newsplex with details. Yeah, Kim, this is a first for Albuquerque, and those behind it all say there is no doubt it's needed now more than ever. They want to hear from us, they're going to hear from us. A group of Albuquerque residents from neighborhoods across the city are fed up. I think uh, maybe the police crisis, the jet fuel crisis, uh, an uh, uh, a government that's unresponsive, really, to people in general, I think I think it reached a critical mass. Representatives from every Albuquerque neighborhood are meeting up to discuss issues they say impact everyone in the city. After two meetings, they pinpointed two major city issues, the Kirtland jet fuel spill and problems within APD. The March shooting of James Boyd sparked protests and the DOJ found the department had a pattern of using excessive force. City councilors told residents then they wanted to hear their concerns and invited them to to council meetings, but ideas were drowned out when chaos erupted in council chambers. The people city council is just unanimously voted no confidence in Mayor Barry. But neighborhood leaders say what comes from their new group will be different. There are plans to get insight from experts on issues like the DOJ report. They'll discuss how it affects everyone, then take their concerns to the city. At a certain point, we're going to go up to the city council and the mayor and say, this is what we think is important. This is what we think needs to be done, who's responsible, and when's it going to happen. Council President Ken Sanchez says the council is ready to listen. People are wanting to see, uh, you know, recommendations that are, are followed through. You know, they want accountability. Now, neighborhood leaders say they're not stopping with tackling the APD issue and Kirtland jet fuel spill. They are also looking into what they call an inadequate education process within the city. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Crystal. Now, there is another meeting set for next Thursday at the Manzano Mesa Multi-Generational Center.